Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Katie and this is our Missouri Life. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a skull rose frame. So we're going to start off by painting this frame. So I got this at Michael's. It was like $8.99 and then I picked up some black paint while I was at Michael's also and I'm just using the sponges from the Dollar Tree. You can get like a three or four pack from the Dollar Tree of those sponges and I just use them and then toss them after I'm done. So we're going to paint this black. So after we are done painting, I'm going to let this part dry, and in the next part, I'm going to show you Justin making me the back of the frame. So here Justin is going to be cutting out the board for me, and I will insert here what kind of board he is cutting out for me um, for the back of the frame. was cut I did use some wood glue and just glue the two pieces together and then I painted the board black to match the frame. Now I'm going to grab the three pack of utility knives that I got from the Dollar Tree and what we're going to do is heat these up with the lighter that I have there. Please be very very careful when doing this the blade gets very hot and I don't want you to burn yourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and cut along the line that's already on the skull. I'm going to just heat up the blade just a little bit and then I'm going to start by slicing down the side of the skull very slowly. And I am going to have to reheat up the utility knife every couple of times that I try just because it is really thick at the top of that skull. Like I said, be very careful to not burn yourself or cut yourself while doing this. After I have the skull cut and in place where I want it, I'm going to just trim off a little bit more. I'm going to stick it there and then I'm going to use the hot glue gun to hot glue the skull to the back of the board. In the next step, we are going to start trimming off the roses so we can start putting them on the frame. I left about an inch of stem just in case but depending upon where you're sticking the roses, you will adjust the stem length throughout this whole process. So I picked out a rose that I thought would fit well for the first rose. I wanted it to kind of be standing up a little bit more. So I started out with some hot glue. You just kind of put a big glob of it on the bottom. Then you're going to have to hold it. So this does take a while to make sure that the hot glue does harden up. And I am using a very high temp hot glue gun. So this might actually be a better idea to use a low temp hot glue gun so that you're not having to hold it for as long. Um, I am also taking the petals and I am attaching them to the skull also, just for more stability. I started by working on one side of the frame so that I could fill that side up and then kind of work to the other side of the frame. So this 
did end up being a two-day process. So here you're going to see the first roses that I started using. They had black stems. That's why I purchased those. But I could not find them. But if you are at the Dollar Tree, they have the ones with the green stems. And there is actually six of them on the green stem compared to the black that only had four. So you are getting more for your money to buy the ones with the green stem than you are the black one. But my only worry was those green... I guess they're stems that are hanging off the bottom of the roses, but they are the exact same rose. So what I decided to do here was go ahead and snip all the pieces off, and then I took off that green part that I was worried about. And then what I did is I took the hot glue gun and hot glued the end of the stem to the petals so the petals didn't fall off of the stem. And here I'm still working through that one side just to fill little areas that I felt had kind of a gap in it. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, <laughs> I'm home from work, I'm dumb. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. That's better. Okay. Okay guys, everything is done. Please be careful, I'm gonna give you a little forewarning in here. If you're using any kind of hot glue gun, be careful. I burnt myself very, very <laughs> badly, actually, on this lovely hot glue gun. I'm using a very high temp hot glue gun. This is a DeWalt um, hot glue gun. This is Justin's <laughs> because I hate those chintzy little ones that you buy at like Walmart or um, Michael's. I do everything fast paced. I am not a slow paced person. I don't want to have to wait for things. So use not a high temp hot glue gun, but also be careful if you are using a high temp, it will melt plastic sometimes. So sometimes that's an issue, but I'm absolutely in love with this DIY. I cannot tell you how much I love this. I have wanted to do one of these for a while now and I just could not find what I needed. So I had gone out to Facebook Marketplace and I was out there looking for like just old frames that I could redo. But I found this, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, at Michael's, it was $8.99. It's this color when you first buy it so you can paint it whatever color you want it. And then there's, that I painted it black but then what Justin did for me is he cut this out just out of some like I don't even know what kind of wood that is but it's really thin wood um I'll, if I I'll ask him what it was so he cut that out for me I just used wood glue and glued those two pieces together let it sit overnight and then I glued the little skull head on there and then I just started placing roses and I am absolutely in love with this guy I love this thing so, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY, this Halloween DIY tutorial as much as I did. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for more DIYs for Halloween, fall, Christmas. They're all coming up this year. Um, so, DIYs are going to come out on Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturdays. Um, so, I will have DIYs out. If you guys like this video, like I said, give it a big thumbs up. Stay safe, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. I will see you guys later. Bye!